Hello there, my name is Mark Beckwith. Hi, I'm Obadiah Thomas. And we're a duo called Razzle Bam Boom. We perform assemblies. We've been doing this since 1999. Yeah, today we want to talk to you about uh, assemblies that you might present to your whole school. That's right. We've visited thousands of schools in all different types of situations. We've seen principals give talks, and we think we might be able to offer you a few techniques, a few tips. We respect that you have learned a lot over the years. You're a great ed educator and you've got your own techniques, but maybe a few of these tips might help you make your assemblies more effective. Yeah. So uh, I think for first I want to start off with the basic physics of the room and the kind of uh, obstacles that you might come in contact with. Right. One of those uh, obstacles has to do with the acoustics in the room. All right. Let's say you're in, in, in an NPR room. Uh, or a, an auditorium, or a gymnasium, or something like that. They're all different. Some of those rooms have high ceilings, or hard surfaces, and that can create a reverb, a natural reverb situation. You might call it echo. And that may make a singer sound good, but it's not good for someone speaking if they want to be he heard clearly. Right. Yeah. And uh, there's, uh, there are some techniques that you can do yeah. uh, with a, your sound system. We'll talk about those in the next video. We've got no another video coming up. Yeah. The next thing we want to talk about is the proximity of the audience to the speaker and the proximity of the audience to the audience. Ah, right. Now, there's, there was a study done in 1959 having to do with the proximity of the presenter to the audience and the proximity of um, the audience to each other. And we'll put the link uh, below in this email. But uh, this is something we actually discovered over the years that affects the effectiveness of an assembly. Right. Uh, like a lot of times we'll get to an assembly and they will start setting the kids up 10 feet, even 20 feet away. Sometimes 30. 30. <laughs> We've seen 30 feet away. It's this huge distance that we have to gap emotionally and with our message and it just uh, separates the audience. We like them nice and close, about six feet away the front right. row should be. And if the front row is close, the back row is going to be closer. Everyone's going to be closer, feeling like a community and you, when you're presenting, can really get your message across to them. That's right. So yeah, keep them close. Now the other uh, thing that we want to discuss is the proximity of an audience member to another audience member, kid to kid. Yeah. We prefer them nice and intimate, nice and tight. Sitting on the floor works best because then they can be close to each other. Yeah. It's not just what we want, it's what the kids want. They yeah. want to have the feeling that everybody's laughing together, everyone's clapping together. Uh, the problems we've seen is that they have this huge aisle in the middle because teachers will set the first kid up right next to where they're sitting and then line them up and it leaves a 10 foot, 20 foot gap we've even seen. Yeah, I think a three foot aisle is three ideal. Three foot, nice yeah. and tight. <laughs> just enough for one or two people to walk down the center. And uh, the other problem is that a lot of cafeterias are used as cafeterias. So they have the tables down or tables up. Anyway, the tables are there and the kids are sitting on benches in front and behind the table. That hu is a huge barrier between them and the presenter, which is you. That's right. Big old table. Plus those tables and benches and chairs can make noises. They make noises and the feet are dangling down there. Yeah. So they're making noises. The kids can tap on the top. That's making noises. Crisscross, applesauce, pockets on the floor. Those kids are going to be very focused and quiet. All right. So let's talk about lighting. That's another physical aspect of a, an NPR room, and that can really affect the effectiveness of an assembly delivered by a principal. So many times we get to the NPR, and the darkest spot in the entire room is downstage, center, on stage. I mean, why is that? <laughs> so it's really important for you as a presenter, when you're trying to engage everybody in your school and present yourself as the principal, the leader, that you are the focus and that you are the brightest lit thing person in the room. And in a uh, subsequent video, we'll talk about ways that you can do that. Right. So I think that wraps it up for this video. We'll keep it short and please look for a future video from us.